so it's pretty late at night. Sunday night. I had an amazing weekend that I wanted to show you. It's one of those epic weekends. You know how like when you're little, younger anyway, and you think to yourself, man, all I know is when I grow up, I'm going to do all the things I ever wanted to do. And then you get grown up, and you think to yourself, yeah, that's time for me to do it, right? And it's so exciting, and it's so fun. And so you talk all your friends into running out to the canal with you on the canal bank, and they don't believe you're going to do it. But you're like, I don't feel that much different at 50 than I ever did. So I get out, I jump on the canal bank, let the big diesel dewey pull me down the canal bank, had a pretty good time, I dropped the ski, had a great time. Then, this is where it gets exciting. Then my wife jumps in and she's like, man, I want to try that. And I can't believe it. She's a city kid. Like this is, and it's dangerous. Like if you wreck on the canal, like she, you'll see her almost do here in a minute. If you wreck on the canal, I mean, you could fall into the bank and you watch her at the very end. She's pulling against the reeds and she's pulling against the current. And she's pulling against the truck and she almost falls into the bank and she bails and she does. She goes a little like ass over tea kettle. Um, and that's, that's the fun of it. That's what makes it so fun. Let me show you that one. Here I am with her in the water right here. I'm holding her up, holding her into the current because you don't have a life jacket. <laughs> I hold her. She yells at her. We're the only She pops right up and watch now she's just biting the reeds because the reeds are tall. They're pulling her and they're pulling her over to the bank. She pulls a little closer over in the bank. She bites it. She gets away. Oh, she's getting closer. She's getting closer. She's biting. He's going all skewed on this. Oh, takes the ticket. Dude, that was so exciting. That made me happy. And I'll tell you what, I remember doing this when I was a kid. And I remember thinking, man, this stuff makes you so happy. Right? This stuff makes you so happy. And then, let me see if I can find the other one. I remembered how happy it made me as a kid. And I was like, you know what else would make me happy? In my lifetime, I never went very fast on that canal what happened was we were skiing with a kid named neil checkets he was a neighbor and a real dear friend and neil got on behind i think we were doing it on a tractor or maybe the old farm truck and you know you usually ski about 20 25 miles an hour on that but remember the current's probably going five miles an hour so if you're skiing at 25 you're probably skiing closer to 30 and oh neil checkets is flying down the thing and the rumor has it that they were probably sitting on about 35 miles an hour, which would have felt like 40 to him. And he loses it in the weeds. He catches a weed, a uh, ski in the weed. And he just scorpions and starts rolling down the canal bank. It really messed him up. It was legendary when we were kids. That Neil Checkett's digger was legendary. And I'm sitting there talking to Aaron. I'm like, do you think that old Dewey will go 50 on that? rickety old road he's like yes i do i believe it'll go 50 on that rickety old road and i'm like fired up let's get after it i'm 50 years old it'd be nice to go 50 i've never done that in my life but the last time i just did that a minute ago like i had endorphins flowing it was so fun so do you know what i need to do 50 fired up hit good take me to 50 give me a signal when we get there and i'll let go and he's like well what if you get in trouble on the way I'm like, I'll scorpion the bank better than Neil Checkett's ever wanted to. So we fire it up. We get me back there. I drop in the water, pull it up, and damn. Damn, that was fast. Watch this. Okay. Neil is 50 years old, 
and he has decided that it's a good idea to go 50 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, he's on you. Kanowski. Go! What a fun night. What a blast. I can't believe we did it. I grew up all my life saying these words, just like you, just like all of us. I just want to be able to keep up with my kids. And so we had all the cousins out there and the cousins' friends, and they all jumped in the water, and we threw the skis on them. A lot of them got up. Some of them didn't. But here's what we did. We created some lifelong memories forever and ever. They'll never forget that. And as a dad, I used to tell myself that's all I cared about is I would get these lifelong memories with my kids. And I just hoped I could stay in good enough shape to lead those memories from the front. And so this weekend, I was sitting here thinking, I've had a lot of fun on those skis and I've had a lot of fun on that canal. Um, and it was a long time ago, 35-ish years ago, I had fun out there. Um, but I never had as much fun as I had yesterday. I guess that goes to show you, man, you can't take care of your body. You pull your body together. There truly is more fun to be had. So if you're close, or if you feel like you can, look... We can do this stuff at 50. Your job now becomes film that stuff. Put it on Facebook and let us old guys and gals like it. I had a ball. I hope you go do this stuff. And when you do, like and share it with all of us.